I've been involved in the ag industry, both professionally and personally, all my life. I grew up on a dairy and grain farm at Edenwald, Saskatchewan, and I still live on a grain farm at Edenwald, Saskatchewan. I just moved a couple miles down the road with my husband, Jerry. And uh, our two daughters, who uh, are now away at the University of Saskatchewan. I would say that, uh, you know, Diane mentioned that I'm the Deputy Minister of Agriculture, and I've been there since 2007. I'm also Chair of the Saskatchewan Crop Insurance Corporation Board. That's part of my job as Deputy Minister. And then I'm also on the Board of Saskatchewan Trade and Export Partnership, as well as the Global Institute for Food Security, both of which are related to my work as Deputy Minister. Now, I don't know if I can really define it, but I can tell you that my leadership style is based on six fundamentals or principles. So my six fundamentals are inspiration, engagement, vulnerability, communication, accountability, and walk the talk. Now, I focus on values-based leadership, and I strongly believe in the importance of organizational culture. Leadership really has little to do with your job title. It's a choice, not a title, and you have to think about leadership at all levels, no matter what your place is in the organization. As a woman leader, I think women have a unique approach. We tend to be multitaskers. We're probably more in touch or more in tune with others. Um, we're more intuitive, I think. We're often more compassionate or more empathetic. We're often better communicators. And we bring different things to the table. You need to take advantage of your natural strengths. This experience uh, that you have at your home, in your family, in your community, these are all things that you can put um, to the best ability at work as well. So first of all, about inspiration. It's important to inspire those around you. You need to set out direction. You need to tell them where you're going and then how you're going to help the organization get there what their role is in that organization and why it's important. So if you are a leader by title or you're a leader because of the influence you have in the organization, I think this is true for all of you. Share your enthusiasm and your energy and inspire others to see what you see. Create an image of what you'd like others to help you achieve. I can often say that this is just being described as having a shared vision. Be passionate and get others excited about the possibilities. The emotional connection that we feel towards our employment organization tends to influence our behaviors and the level of work in our work, the level of effort in our work-related activities. The more engagement we feel, the more effort we're willing to put forth. So how do we get engaged? Well, I think it's about culture and values. A strong organizational culture really affects how an employee feels about their employer or their organization. With a values-based approach, really this is about how you do your work being just as important as the work that you do. It's evident to me that a positive, healthy corporate culture isn't just the way to have employees feel more valued and want to stay with their employers, but it also leads to higher performance and better corporate returns. Values play a critical role in creating a high-performing organization. With creativity and innovation, this, com this comes from employees who feel safe to make mistakes and learn from their mistakes. Now, I also believe that leaders need to be vulnerable. Now, you may want to call this authentic leadership. I don't know what works for you, but um, be, that means really being who you are. It's okay to show strengths and weaknesses. And I think oftentimes people think leaders, because they have a title, somehow have it all figured out. And maybe sometimes leaders actually foolishly think that of themselves as well. And um, I would say that sometimes being vulnerable can be risky and often uncomfortable, but um, I'd say get used to it. We've got to treat everybody the way we want to be treated. We have to help people know um, what to expect. We have to be genuine and authentic and real and show that you're human. And we have to care about people, so that is about being empathetic. It doesn't mean that you're soft or weak, it just means that you care. And I would also say that we as leaders need to own up to our mistakes, because everyone makes them, and we need to learn from them and be straight up about it when you messed up. So in order to feel connected, employees need to know what's going on. They want to know how their work contributes to the goals of the organization. They want to feel included in decisions that affect them and their work. They also need to know why. By sharing the whole picture, employees are empowered to help, find solutions, be creative, make decisions, and you need to help them feel engaged. And this is especially true, I think, with younger employees who are less satisfied with the what, and they also need to understand the how and the why. My personal motto is share everything, except when you can't. I believe in full transparency, and I think this helps people to know how their contributions matter. 
I also need to let people know when they've done well and when they need to do better. So, you know, I need to say what went right and where do they need to readjust. Now, you do need to hold yourselves accountable and those around you as well to the same standards. So they've got to be accountable for their work, their words, their decisions, and their actions. Performance is measured, as I said, not by what they do, but also by how they do it. This isn't about coming down hard on people. When you do slip up, acknowledge it openly, apologize, learn from those mistakes, clean up and move on. This commitment must be throughout your organization. As leaders, if you behave the way you want your people to, they will do the same. And in time, employees from the top to the bottom will all behave in a consistent way in line with the values. I openly admit to my mistakes, but by doing so, I show others that that's okay to do. Now, walk the talk, that's obviously an old, old term. I couldn't think of any other way to say it, so, um, you know, just set a good example. Be the change you want to see in your organization. Expect the same of yourself that you expect of others. If you do it, so will everyone else. If you don't do it, why should anyone else? That doesn't mean any of us are perfect, or we don't make mistakes and slip up sometimes by not demonstrating our values. That's human. People need to, need to see, though, that it starts at the top. My advice is think about how you can contribute to positive values and positive culture in your organization, and then be committed to living it every day. Now, appreciation is also a key component of this positive culture. People need to know that they're appreciated and they're appreciated for the work that they do. Never underestimate the value of simply saying thank you. We're all the same. We all need to know when we need to make changes to improve for sure. But just as importantly, we need to know when we've done well with our work and just not that we got the work done, but that we exemplified core values and how we got the work done. This ultimately leads to all of us being happier and, I believe, more productive. Find support. We can't do it alone. You need that support system both professionally, whether it's your executive team or personally in your family. I truly believe my success has been because of the people that I've had in my personal and professional life. I certainly have done none of this alone. Of course, it's also been because of the opportunities that have been opened up to me. So I would encourage you to make sure you walk through those doors and uh, you know, be confident whether you think you're ready or not. I look forward to the future and I certainly encourage you to think about all that you've already accomplished in your work and in your lives. Be kind to yourself, have confidence and be open to opportunities that present themselves. And I challenge you to step up and lead in your way because our industry needs you. Thank you very much.